Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Let's go ahead and get to another one of these top 10s out of the way. So this is going to be top 10 easy A's. Now, I was actually, I was going into this list like, whew, boy, just jam-packed with power. And then once I got to it, I was like, ah, you know, hmm. I I don't know, like like some of these lower units, I feel like they the aging process might already have kicked in, but... I think it's just more so what, like, power creep is just so crazy this year. Like, it actually is, like, every unit that releases is just, like, completely dunking on the last unit, right? Like, really, this is how gacha games, I feel like, typically are, where it's like, guess what? They want you to spend money, get a unit, and then, uh-oh, the new unit came out that's even better. I'm going to spend money again, right? So... It always is weird when a gacha game will, like, drop, like, some busted unit, like, say, I, I don't know, I don't know, something, and then backtrack, oh, I, I guess Cooler. Cooler is a good example. They drop, like, Cooler, and then it's, like, months later, they drop, like, Kefla, who sucks, or something like that, right? Like, that would be a good example, but right now, they're just dropping monsters constantly. All right, so let's start at number 10. Um, number 10 is a surprising unit that actually... LR Trunks and Goten. Um, I have been actually blown away with this unit. Um, if not for their shitty link set, right? To where it, it they are definitely hurting units around them. Um, there's no doubt about that. If not for that, if they just... Like, if you get rid of, like, prodigies and give them prepared for battle... Or, like, if they just happen to also be, like, a Super Saiyan unit instead, and they had, like, Super Saiyan instead of, like, Z Fighters. It's just, like, I make this point about this unit. They have good links. It's just the combo of their link set is bad. Um, it, it's, you have no, like, top-tier units who are sharing, like, four links with this character, or even really, like, three links or something like that. It's just, like, a weird spread. Um, of the links that this character is rocking, which hurts them. But they have the best key mechanic in the game. Um, they're you're always hitting their 18 key super. It's, it doesn't matter if they have zero links or anything like that. They you're hitting 18 key with this unit pretty much for free, pretty much always. Defensively, they're pretty good after they super attack. They're getting 150 percent right there. They're getting 50 percent right here, 30 percent potentially right there. This unit is very good. Um, I, I, Again, I've been very, very impressed, actually, with how powerful they are. You probably could even make the case that this unit could be a bit higher up on the list, I think. But I, I am, you know, definitely, like, taking points off for this link set. It, 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 it really does matter. And I feel like, you know, these days, like, it's like, why are you going to run a lot of these, like, quirky units? Just run like a bunch of say just go boring just run a bunch of prepare for battle sands who all work perfectly together they're all sharing three or four links your team is very cohesive very tanky doing a lot of damage just works great right um but all right we'll put trunks and go 10 right there um next we're gonna go ahead and get physical final form cooler i think physical final form cooler is really good i think you maybe could even make the case that he should be higher on this list as well um, I think what is hurting Cooler currently is just leaders on some of these teams. Um, or just like like a, a couple of... Ma we're like... I don't know. We're like an LR Final Form Cooler, uh, AGL Turles is easy, a, and then like some other like, you know, major unit. Like for like, like Transformation Boost, Space Traveling Warriors, Terrifying Conquerors, like Inhuman Deeds. So like a baby. Yeah, we're like an LR Final Form Cooler... Uh, Dokkan Fest Baby and Easy A Turles from like all of these villain teams being insane, right? Like we just are just a, a few pieces shy. Um, because I think Cooler, this guy's still gonna be solid for a while, but I think some of these teams like Transformation Boost, Terrifying Conquer, like a bunch of these teams just need better leaders. Target Goku, right? If these teams just have better leaders, it would work better for Cooler. Cooler can be really ultra powerful. Either if you make really good use out of his godly link set, um, or if you're deep into an event, um, you know, fully built out easy a cooler, I think is probably better than even like the five year anniversary LR blue fusions. Um, but it's just a matter of him building up. Right. But this cooler cooler is ridiculous. He's redonkulous. He is very, very powerful. Again, I think you easily could move him up a little bit. Next we have super saiyan four Goku. Now I'm going to cheat. 
Um, and you guys cannot stop me. I'm putting both Super Saiyan 4s right here. Again, there's nothing you can do. You're not stopping me from doing this. Um, the unit's designs are very, very similar. Let me actually pull up Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta right here. I don't have Vegeta pulled up. Um, but let me pull up the two of them next to each other. Um, they're both really good. The way I've found the Super Saiyan 4s sort of work is that Vegeta is better on turn 1. Um, and then after that, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is better. Um, just based off of their super attack effects. These units are ridiculously powerful, these Super Saiyan 4 characters. Um, like a lot of other sort of units in the game, though, um, they are definitely characters right now that would be helped with some additions to some of their teams. I mean, you could rock these guys in, like, the GT Hero team. They'll dominate Pure Saiyans, you know, Vegeta Family. You know, you can run Goku and Kamehameha, you know, Battle of Fate, Accelerated Battle. There's a lot of teams where these characters will work really well. They have really good link sets, right? You know, Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, both of them have. So they're going to share several links with many characters. Just a very strong um, couple of units right here. Um, they do also have this uh, Super Attack Countering ability, which uh, is nice. Although, I mean, you're probably not going to see that happen too often. But, you know, it is still nice that they've got there. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and get LR Bardock in here. LR Bardock, honestly, is a very impressive unit. Um, I feel like they did this guy justice. Um, another character that I feel like a lot of the time it's probably not too tough um, getting him to drop some of these big time super attacks in. He's got seals, which can be good for Super Battle Road content. Um, I think this Bardock potentially could struggle a little bit at the end of long events would more so be his sort of weakness. Um, and one thing I really do wish, I wish he did greatly raise defense right here. I think this would have made him a lot better, actually, because most of the time you are hitting his 18 key super attack. And then, you know, of course, his defense would be much higher if he was getting 50% right here, as opposed to a 30% buff. Um, Link set, not really too much of an issue for this Bardock. I mean, you know, prepared for battle, Saiyan Roy Race, Saiyan Lineage. Shattering Limit, Legendary Power. These are pretty common links. This Bardock is just, like, very powerful, right? Like, he, you're going to be shooting out a lot of 6 and 7 and 5 million attack sets um, with big-time ease, right, for this Bardock. So, um, I do kind of like what they did with him. Uh, next, we bring in Transforming Easy Frieza. Um, I think Transforming Frieza is very, very powerful. I think at the start of, like, Super Battle Road events and stuff like that, this guy could potentially struggle a little bit. I mean, some of that, of course, is, like, you know, pure um, uh, movie boss extreme Super Battle Road, which is very difficult. But typically, by the time you've reached Golden Frieza, this guy is untouchable in long events, right? This guy absolutely obliterates... Um, the Evolution Blue Vegeta at the end of the Legendary Vegeta event. I think that this Golden Freezer right here is very, very good. The healing and stuff like that. Um, his Link set is very good. You know, I found that this Frieza actually makes a great linking partner for LR Janemba. Rocking like Janemba in slot 1, this Frieza in slot 2 typically does work pretty well. They'll be healing at the start of turn for Metamorphosis. And then, of course, Frieza has his heal as well. Frieza typically is supering very easy since he gets 3 key when attacking super class enemies, which a, a lot of the game, a lot of the content you use as Frieza does end up being super class enemies. I think that the um, the transforming Frieza is really good. I think the transforming Goku is actually a bit um, underwhelming, unimpressive, but transforming Frieza, very, very powerful. All right, next, I have Int UI Goku in here. Um, I'm always back and forth with this UI Goku character. One thing to keep in mind with the category lead EZs, by the way, by the way, is that they are ridiculously good leads, right? Whereas, like, you look at a lot of these other characters, right? All of these other characters on here are just not legitimate leaders. Um, Transforming Frieza, you could, you know, with his 130% to extreme class is good. You know, that's pretty solid. Um, but, like, UI Goku, Realm of Gods 160 and 3 key, he is a true Realm of Gods leader. I think UI Goku is the go-to lead for this team right now. The thing with him is that this form right here is rather unimpressive to me. Um, I don't really go super crazy for this guy. When you transform with him, though, and he gets that first turn of guaranteed dodging, he's also got the 70% dodging and stuff like that. It, it can look pretty good. Um, this guy can be really good in long events um, if you're, you know, stacking up his defense a lot. 
And even in like Super Battle Road and stuff like that, you know, maybe if you have this guy in turn two, you take a lot of damage turn one, you immediately transform and then this guy is untouchable. So it's like UI Goku's got a lot of tech that is pretty good. Link set, of course, is very strong. He's on a lot of category teams. This guy's aging pretty good. Um, I think I like this in UI Goku quite a bit even still. Um, all right, so next we have Future Gohan. I was actually kind of... I, I feel like these two are pretty close. Um, I was really on the fence here. This Future Gohan is really powerful, but it's he is just way, way, way weaker if there's not a Trunks, a Future Saga Trunks. Um, in the same turn. This future Gohan is not that crazy. Once you have his damage reduction fully built up, he's probably going to look pretty good even without a Trunks on rotation. But for this future Gohan to be really solid, you do want a future Saga Trunks round, which can limit him, right? One thing that could be good about this future Gohan is him being on some small bad teams, right? Like All Out Struggled, Connected Hope, those type of things. Um, but him needing a Trunks does sort of restrict his... Um, usefulness on those teams right that's one good thing about trunks and goten by the way they're on a lot of these like weirdo teams right there where they're going to be one of the best units on a lot of these teams like youth heavenly events and stuff like that they're still going to be really powerful right uh future gohan is good and remember future gohan also has a legitimate leader skill um i do think that these category leads should get sort of like bonus points for that the fact that they're uh, actual leaders um okay so we have him Next, we're going to go ahead and get uh, Easy A Tech Hit up here. Um, I think Tech Hit is very good. I think you probably... There probably is a discussion for Hit or Future Gohan, maybe even in UI Goku. Again, you could really suck in UI Goku off and maybe get him as high as like 2 on this list. Um, but, I, I mean, I, I just think Hit is very consistent. The damage Hit can do. He could dominate Super Battle Road events. Um, he has this ability, which makes him better with Universe 6 allies, even though he doesn't link up that well with them. Um, I've found Hit to be very good. And one thing that does help this guy out as well is the presence of the LR God Goku and Hit unit, um, who I think is probably one of the top 10 best units in the game. The best yellow coin LR in the game. Really powerful, and this Hit helps bring that unit to, to full relevance. This Hit is also a really good leader, as you guys could see, which helps him out. Um, again, his link set works fine enough. I mean, uh, if only there was a couple of more units on Universal Star Wars Saga that hold, had cold judgment. You know, you know, if, like, the Gohan and Freeze unit was better, that would have been very helpful. But I think Hit is very good. I actually really like Hit. Um, now, number two, we have Goku and Frieza. Now, I am not a fan of... I, I don't know. I, I, just, I just have never been the biggest fan of this unit. But I feel like their power is undeniable, right? Like, you put this unit in slot 2, and, like, they can massacre everything. As long as you're getting their 18 key super attack, their defense is untouchable as well. Like, they get so much defense if you're hitting their 18 key. Because you're getting this defense right here, and you're still getting this defense. Especially if they double super, you get the double 30% defense right there. They get debuff, good for Super Battle Road. They build up their key as well right there, which, of course, can be very good for long events. This unit is just very powerful. They have a good link set. They're still strong because they're a unit that was, like, like solid. Like, they were, like, okay, I think, going into the 6th anniversary. And then they got an easy 8, and it's, like, they kind of got a good easy 8. It's, like, some of the weak points were sort of handled, right? Giving them defense on their two super attacks defense on their 18 key like that's all this unit needed and then making their key like any key struggles they might have worse or excuse me not not as bad as event goes on really helps him out because this is a unit i actually would argue was hurt by the link level update um where their links are so good you're typically completely like stacking up like tournament power and stuff like that but that was sort of taken away from them after the link level update but um I do think their easy a sort of helped settle them down quite a bit. Um, and then number one, I mean, it's just, it's obvious. I, Broly is so good. I, I just, like, I don't, I don't even really want to talk about it. Like, what is there, what do you want to say? Like, he has this insane key mechanic against a pure hybrid Saiyan enemy, which is most of the game, right? It's the same thing as, like, Cooler. This guy is super effective against all types if there's a goku family category enemy so easy 
He's getting defense from both of his super attack effects. He guaranteed double supers. Guy's an AoE. He has a great link set. He's on a lot of teams, right? Like, this guy is actually just the only unit you need for World Tournament. Like, this is... he LR Broly, right now, on January 16th, 2022, is still really good in every single event in the game. He's, like, the only character you could say that on. Because the amount of characters who are useful in World Tournament is, like, actually, like, you can count on one hand or something like that, right? Like, this Broly... No... Because, like... Tech Ultimate Gohan, talk about, oh, he's MVP, how valuable he is, blah, 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 blah. You don't run him in World Tournament, right? Like, LR Full Power Freeze, AJL, UI, Goku, how ridiculously powerful are they? You don't run them in World Tournament. Like, yeah, World Tournament is the worst thing Dokkan has to offer, but it does still have good rewards. Broly completely being the only unit that matters in there. He In long events, he can hold it down because his defense is so high after he's double and triple supering. Um, Super Battle Road. Like, when I no itemed Movie Boss's Extreme Super Battle Road, this guy was the MVP. I felt like I got the no item because of Broly. It wasn't Janemba and Golden Frieza and, or Fat Janemba, these other units. I felt like I did it because of this guy. Like, like this Broly is definitely, I think, the number one easy unit. I, I, I am very comfortable with this. Looking at this list, I like the way it turned out. Um... I'm not the biggest fan of this guy. Trunks, in hindsight, I mean, he he's solid, but he's not, like, a super strong competitor. I feel like you maybe can make a case for, like, Roshi. The androids are, like, right around Roshi's level. Angel Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku can be very good, but, like, if you get unlucky with his orb changing, he can look not too crazy, right? You may, you know, there you could have gotten some of these units in some of these spots right here, but, um... I do uh, feel very comfortable with this right here. Um, so let me know what you guys think about the top 10 EZAs, I think, uh, going into 2022 right now. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time.